What's up guys? This is a video on the OYN-X multi-port power supply system for CCTV cameras. So right guys, I've actually bought this from Amazon and I paid £43 for the 9 port one which will connect up to 9 cameras and I paid £53 for the 18 port one which is right behind there and that will connect up to 18 cameras and what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below just in case if you need any more information or if you want to actually buy one so right guys why would you buy something like this so basically this is uh, a power supply where you can connect multiple cameras to it so you can connect up to nine cameras up to that one and 18 cameras up to that one so instead of having like nine plug sockets going into an extension it will just all connect into one system either way so if you've got something like say if you've got four cameras you will not need something like this what you will need is a, a four-way splitter power supply for it and what i'll do is i'll try to put a picture up now and i will leave a link in the description below of a, a four-way splitter if you're after one of them and that'll connect up to four cameras with one plug socket so anything above four You'll, you'll need one of these so right we'll have a quick look around the box so on the box itself it just says it's a multi-port power supply it will do 9 or 18 port PTC technology so here again it says it's got PTC technology built-in redundancy lockable box cover it's got LEDs for each input and then uh, on the side of it, it just tells you the same thing here and it's got a scan code there. On the bottom, there's not much. On the other side, that's all the other information you get on it. So here it tells you the model. There's two types of models. So you've got the 10 amp box, which is the nine port one and the 20 amp box, which is the 20, uh, uh, basically the 18 one. So the input, both, both of them are the same, 240 volts AC. Output on the 9 one is 12 volt DC 9 output and 12 DC 18 output on this one. The supply channel is 10 amp for that one and 20 amp for the 18 one. So on the side here it just says uh, designed for CCTV application with outputs of a re regulated 12 volt DC the power supply has the following protection functions output over voltage protection over current protection output short circuit protection no fuses to change the rated input voltage of the switching power is 240 volt AC the operating temperature is between 0 and 40 plus so right guys that's all the information on the box itself so in the box itself you do get the uh, power supply a plug for it and that's a three pin connection and you do get a bag with it and in there you get a user manual you get two keys you get some plugs four screws and you get a couple of rubber grommets and you get some glands to fit your wires through so you can fit them through the knockouts which I'll show you in a minute so right that's all you get in the box and then you get the we'll have a look at the nine port one so both of these are exactly the same the only difference on on that one and this one is this one's got more cameras you can connect to it and it's got a bigger power supply and it's got a built-in fan to keep it cool as well on the 18 one I will show you that in a minute so I'll show you a quick look around this so it's got a lock at the front it's got two two LED lights here 
so red is for off green is for on on the side here we've got a couple of uh we've got some vents here this is where the power supply connects you've got a knockout here so if you want to connect any wires through there you can do on this side you've got four hole, uh, two holes and basically you just put some screws in in the wall once you've marked it and you don't screw the screws in completely you screw them so far and then what you'll do is you'll hook this onto it and it will slot up to the top and then you can tighten them after that if you wish to do so so right on the other side there's no vents on this side on the top of it it's got three knockouts one two three and you simply just knock them out and then you can like i said before you can add a a rubber grommet or one of these glands you can screw into them so on the underneath you've got a vent as well to keep it cool and then back to the inside of it so inside we've got a diagram of how it all connects up on the side there it tells you the input is 240 volts AC the output again is 12 volts DC 9 outputs current supply is 10 amp maximum amp is 1.5 amp per channel and fuse type is PTC so what it means by PTC is basically the fuses are here these these are them here PTC ones and basically what that means is you don't have to replace the fuses they'll uh, automatically trip and then reconnect up themselves again so right uh, the inside of the box you've got the on and off switch here so you can turn it on and off and here you've got the terminals so these are all the plus terminals and these are all the minus terminals so your first camera it says here one two three four and they're all counted up to nine so what you do is with your first camera you'd feed your wiring through the top or the back whatever you prefer or the wherever the knockout so if you want to bring it through there so you'd connect your positive one through here into here with a phillips screw and tighten it up and your negative would connect there and then you do the same on your next camera and your next camera depending on how many you got so if you've got six cameras you can connect six seven eight nine nine cameras so underneath there this is where the power supply is it's got a guard on it because it does get warm and basically you don't need to touch this that's all you basically need to do to connect it up what else can i tell you about it um not much really um i've used them for a couple of years and the, they're the best things ever like i said before if you've got eight cameras you're gonna to have to have an extension with eight, eight plug sockets in it and it's a lot of hassle and it creates a lot of heat as well so this contains all of them together all of them are individually fused if you can see that there's nine of them here so if something did happen it automatically fuse uh, it trip one of these off it won't turn all your cameras off and uh, what it'll do is uh, if there's a power surge it trip it and then put them back on right um that's everything i can show you on them really i'm thinking what else they've all got led lights as well so when they're on they'll be there if there's something wrong they won't be on and you'll know there's something wrong with that channel so right that's everything on this box what i will show you is the 18 one now So the 18 one is exactly the same and, and you can see 18 there it takes up to 18 channels so again you've got your plus terminals at the bottom and your minus terminals at the top exactly the same you've got knockouts in the top so you can bring your wires through you've got the on and off switch here and the only difference like I said is just basically a, a bigger board the other thing they do supply you with it if you can see that there's a fan there there's a built-in fan to help keep it cool as well so right guys um trying to think what else can i show you about it like i said they're both exactly the same there's not much difference in them except for one takes more than the other and the other one's got a built-in fan
So like I said before, this will be ideal if you've got quite a few cameras. Um, there's not much else I can tell you about it. So right guys, I hope this helps somebody out who's thinking about buying one. And uh, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.